here's a question from Elaine. I saw Elaine. Hey, Elaine, what are you what are you snacking on today, girl? I see you there stuffing your face. Uts. What is it? Ripples? <laughs> oh, my lands. I better not say what I thought I said. I thought I said Uts pimples. I said, good night. That's nasty. All right. So here's your question from two weeks ago. I think I just saw you put it in the chat. That was nasty, wasn't it, Lena? Lena, I want you to know we kept your, your Christmas card that you sent us two weeks ago. That was mighty sweet. Um, okay, here's your question. Elaine, where in the world did you get these questions, girl? <laughs> so, <laughs> here's Elaine's I, question. I do a whole lot of research, and I was researching this property, and when I researched this property and I was looking at their notes, I found out that they put four deeds on one note. And in addition to that, they had what's called a future advance clause. And I'm thinking, hey, this might be good. I may be able to use this. So from what I gather, and you're gonna tell me if I'm correct or not, this future advance clauses, apparently this bank will give you extra money to use for your next project. Because here's my problem is I'm buying more and more properties in Memphis, Tennessee, which is wonderful. The last two that I bought were for about 25,000. You can't get a loan for 25,000. And I do have some private lenders that will loan me money, but it's only for short terms. So I'm looking to refinance them for like over 30 years. But I can't because they're so small. So I'm thinking, so, hey, maybe this will help me out and can give me the extra money to buy more and more properties. All right, so let me answer your question. So the question is, how does a future advanced clause work? Here's your answer. A future advanced clause or a clause in a mortgage that references future advances is exactly what it sounds like. It's a clause in the mortgage that says, hey, you can have future advances. So let me define what that means. Future advance clauses you can have on a line of credit, uh, a future advance you can have on a line of credit that is revolving, or you can have a future advance uh, on a non-revolving note. So here's the way it works. You have future advances on new construction, right? That's called draws. So and a, a future advance is a draw, right? So you can have draws. Uh, you can have future advance. If you're borrowing money, this, by the way, this does not apply to private money, folks. This does not apply to private money. This is only commercial loans that we're talking about this clause in mortgages. So if you're borrowing money from a traditional lender or you're borrowing money from a hard money lender, God forbid, uh, there's this thing called rehab draw, right? So you can have a draw for purchase, you can have a draw for rehab, et cetera. Equity lines of credit or revolving lines also has that, has that clause in the mortgages because equity lines of credit are secured by real estate. And so when you are getting a future advance, you're just, an advance is just a pull down on that equity line of credit. Typically, these lines of credit are not on are not on multiple properties, but could be. So, Elaine, that's the answer. But more specifically, if you're looking at a particular note, then I recommend you get your real estate attorney to take a look at that clause and see specifically what are the conditions. Here's the most important point, important part of your question. What are the conditions? And able to, in order to get future advances. And it's all going to come down to how the note is written, right? So that's the general answer. The specific answer is going to be in the note that you have. Thank you for the question, Elaine, because my guess is nobody else on the Academy call here today ever heard of future advanced clauses, but there you have it. 